everybody welcome back to my channel we are playing more little misfortune we've got to find out what is going to happen next on this adventure so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay oh we popped out of the sewer just now so look let me sink in oh okay i don't like this maybe i should go back home Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> she should have just gone back home. She was very quick to uh, be like, bye. Hello. Okay, so ghost number two and ghost number two totally matched her uh, missing poster. I wonder where Little Miss Fortune can see see the ghosts. Ugh, mouth like full crap. Uh, Miss Fortune, watch your language. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't. Oh crap. Uh, you need like go get us. <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot that people like wear masks when you see them around. Phantasmagoria is coming to Openfield? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Oh. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> Don't play with my feelings. She's so sweet. Look, <gasps> it's Benjamin from the hoods in the woods. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know? If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me humble this. Did she just ask him Thank out? You. Are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. He has a nickname now. You children. Hide your children. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, huh. shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. <laughs> She is very committed to being as supportive to him as she can be. Can she? Oh, it's because I can click her. I keep thinking I can click stuff. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. But it's really just her I'm clicking. So done, you fuck. Miss Fortune. <laughs> what? Language. Ah. <laughs> Her, her language goes from like little kids going like poo crap to just like full on cussing. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That oh sounds gosh. nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Voice! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. The crows falling from the sky just shockingly she didn't get bopped on the head with one. How that happened, I don't know. Okay. There's antlers on that person. It says don't feed the birds. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> don't feed the birds. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Uh -oh. Death is 
the life and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes, we do. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, oh my look, gosh. a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Oh, there are some interesting things on that bench if you really look. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember oh that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. But, but it's my fish friend forever. I, I don't want to. I want to keep the fish. Keep the fish. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. He's been living in my pocket. Can I, can I, like, give him sparkle at least? No. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? Yes, of course I want to. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. <laughs> I love when she says stuff like that. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey. Stop it. Oi. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course, of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> She's very tiny. Can, can she put sparkle on the horse? No. That was weird. Check out that bag. What? Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. Does he have an issue with don't all animals? Really. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Um, of course. I have to show you some of my dance moves. Of course. Check this out. There he goes. Or there she goes. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if oh. you say so. Narrator doesn't know how to take her sometimes. That's kind of funny. I'm just gonna let that duck have his time over there with Would you like whatever to he wants to this do. One? It's like a tornado. She's gonna ride every little ride there is. Yes, I want to ride. Uh -oh. Stop! Ah, I can't hold that anymore. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. That was not funny. <laughs> okay, she thought it was. Never mind, I can laugh then if she did. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apple smashes against the stone. Oh, this is the second one. Mm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. See, she doesn't trust narrator fully if she's not telling him what she finds. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. <laughs> He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. 
You should not tell a child it should be erased with fire, because knowing misfortune, uh, she'll I do it. I almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my fault. No. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. No, no, no. Does not seem like the best place to end any kind of game. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. Okay. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, Little Misfortune? Probably not. Probably not. She hasn't. No, never. Never? Good for you. Second question. Are you happy right now? Uh, she appears to be happy right now. Yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Wow, that's a heavy question. Like, for a child. We'll say yes. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank oh. you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Goodness. Is that a new... That's a new picture. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't oh. go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay. Nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yeah, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I okay. dig with my tiny hands? Takes forever. <laughs> no. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Um. But. Ah, that shovel. Okay. Nothing questionable about a shovel just appearing from the depths of hell. You know, normal. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, she's just gonna dig a wall. You never know. Could be a goldfish. Ugh. Smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. <clears throat> oh gosh. Can she... What is she... This one says... Oh, okay. It's just rereading what it was. What's this one? Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> How does that work? I'm just nosy now. Nothing. What's this one say? Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? Talk about crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm scared to dig this one up, but, you know, committed as well. Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. <laughs> She's like, don't question me. What does this one say? It says, Paul died doing what he loves. It's in full. Yeah, yikes forever. Oh my gosh. Who wrote these? Ah, uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Can't. Ah, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Oh. Ah, 
I don't get it. That's a terrible joke. Ah, uh, no prize in here. I want to see if she finds like anything different. That's just a pile of dirt. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Oh. You know, Mr. Bubbles is a great name for fish. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, um, okay. Exciting. Open the box. Eternal happiness. Who knew it would be in a box where a fish was buried? Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Benjamin. Uh oh. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yeah, let's yes, go find let's him. Let's do that. Uh such a letdown. Oh, but there's just the pile of dirt. Can she? Oh. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Okay. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Oh my gosh. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. No, oh, I still get weirdly like startled when the terrain changes. <laughs> when unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Oh. Children in pain. Ah. <sighs> Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. <laughs> I love how easily she lies to him. It's just... She's just like, now, you're crazy. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Alright. Why, why does that look weird? Oh. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. <laughs> There's arrows. What does it the say? The game of death is what beats the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. We'll just take that. Oh. Okay. Well then. I love how he's quick to dismiss stuff as well, so... You know. Aha! There! That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Um, I don't want to trust him, but I also, um... Th the hands are really concerning in this picture. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder why Benjamin will steal Let's my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. No. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, oh she didn't jump in. She fell in. That happens sometimes. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Is he not? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. What? What is the chance of that? From anyone but her. 
Uh, then I drop it. Uh. There it went. That's more like her. What? Fox repellent. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Well, I guess we're gonna take that too. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. I was waiting for, like, you know, a giant boulder. Something to fall from the sky. And just do something. Oh. With misfortune, you never know. Honestly, you really just never know. Ah, oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? Benjamin. Uh, no, we're not going to use a fox repellent on him. Benjamin. And he knocked me over. Oops. I still what trust have I gotten him. myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Oh, gosh. Miss Fortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay. I'll just hang around. Um... Yeah, I I trust the narrator less and less and less the more just mean he gets towards her. I mean, no, you shouldn't eat glitter, but let's see what's new. Let's see what's new. Let's see what's new. Bird invasion. Uh, we didn't win, but we had fun. That's perfect. Um, local artist retires after incidents. My son is missing. Oh. Another missing kid. Well, the zoo, you know, with the animals? With the animals? I actually made a quick Google search. <laughs> I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. We're taking the bus. We're taking the bus. Hopefully that's okay. I hate seeing the people with the masks on. Wait, what's that say? Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No. I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I prove don't it. need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, make sure I... Oh, gosh. She's gonna miss it, isn't she? There. Did you see? I'm not... Just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. She was gonna miss all of it. Um, I'm terrified that he can do that. Hi, you look familiar. What? Um, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shoot the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Um, uh, she looked like the ghost I just saw. At least he looks happy. Oh, the 
those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Wait. Alcohol is a tool for relaxed communication. Alcohol is not a solution. Too much alcohol destroys your body. Okay. Mm. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes oh. she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Oh no. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Oh no. That's um what well, let's let's get to that bus station. It's over here. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Let's return it, because she's never stolen anything. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. Be polite. One time, Mommy took me here and forgot me. Oh, no. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> what? Well... That sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. What's this? Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Let's see. You win. You win. Come on. I lost. Maybe next time. Well, that was sad. Oh. Reckon, wait, can she do something <laughs> with the other store? I meant to check. We'll run back real fast. I don't think she can. No. It was just boring. There wasn't a really bad memory attached to it, like a, you know, being left. Happy face. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Does that mean everyone who's wearing a mask is just. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Oh. Casey's dad. <laughs> who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while, though. Oh. Oh, no. Even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. It's starting to smell mysterious. I don't know. I'm trying to glitter. So, does that mean all the people are wearing masks just to because they're all very sad it would make here sense. we are have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before no i haven't i'm not sure what to do do i need a ticket let's find out let's there's find an out. information board okay so we're going to stop here for now right that way we can get on the bus and do all our bus adventures in the next uh parts um but yeah i will be back and we'll get on the bus and see where we go from there because we're supposed to go to the zoo it's gonna be great i'm sure um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and again if you want to show some support feel free to like comment subscribe means so much to me and i'll see you guys next time bye